I'm Matt Stockton. Um, I'm one of the parishioners here at St. Tim's. How old are you, Matt? I am 28, about to turn 29 in a, about a week. Happy birthday! Thank you. <laughs> so the parish mission was really a cool experience that I've never experienced as a parish before. Um, I thought it was really well done, not just because of all the people that actually showed up, but I thought it was a cool experience outside the Mass. Mass is, it, it's the highlight of my week, but I really thought that the parish mission was a perfect showcasing of Mother Church and what it means to be intimate with the entire church body around, really just praising Jesus and being with Jesus. So one thing that I noticed throughout my life, I was always pursuing intimacy. And I, I slowly started to realize that that missing piece, that intimacy was fulfilled through Jesus. So throughout my life, I always felt like I was part of something more. I was raised in a Catholic family. My family always made me feel like I belonged. But throughout school and different friend groups, I really found that a little more difficult um, being away, like a lot of my relationships didn't really center around God. So I found myself trying to seek that intimacy in just a bunch of different ways. And I don't think it became very healthy, especially in college. That search for intimacy, I feel like it always was Christ-centered, but I didn't know it at the time. So I've had a couple of long-term relationships in my life. and. Um, I, I started to see it break down once I realized that God wasn't at the center of them. And it, it was a really hard lesson to learn, um, a lot of loss throughout one of those relationships especially. But I do think that that loss of relationship that was not Christ-centered really put into perspective of why we need to have God at the center of our relationships. How can we love someone who's imperfect without being able to love someone that is perfect. So through God's, Jesus' witness of loving us perfectly, we really learn how to love. Once we can love Jesus, then we are able to better love someone who's imperfect. And at the end of the day, we all are imperfect and broken, but that doesn't mean that we can't love like Jesus does. Like Jesus provides us a solution to that problem and without him, we cannot do it. I am a big advocate of the Mass. The, the Mass is perfect, but I think this really gets people out of their shell of like the dynamic love of Jesus and also just being in companionship with everyone around you. We seem to segregate ourselves into specific groups, but I really do think that the mission did a good job of gathering all the different demographics of the parish and really just putting them in one place and one roof and then just experience the same experience and that's what the mass is but i think this goes a step above about like about focusing our intentions a mission driven intention towards really loving jesus for me um i you know met a lot of cool people that I never had the opportunity to meet before. Um, and these are people that are at church every week. And I've had very special relationships, probably like one of the most special relationships that like was fostered through this parish mission. Pat Lauren. Pat Lauren, <laughs> yeah. That was great.